Hey again, and welcome to the third video in the video series on first step tutorial for PTV Vision. So far, we have learned about the user interface, and we have also talked a little bit how we can select the attributes, view them in lists, and change them. In this part of the video, we are going to talk about how we can edit a network. OK, so on my screen, I have the same network open that we have been working on for the past two videos. Uh, this is a network of a small to medium-sized city, which contains the private transport and the public transport. And in this example, I'm going to show you how we can add a link. So this is very important uh, that whenever we are adding something in our network, we are in the insert mode. This can be selected on the top bar here. So if I click on this plus sign, I will be in the insert mode. In addition to this, we also have to keep in mind to select the right object from the network window here so that we are inserting the uh, object that we want to and not make any mistakes. So in this example, uh, let me go back to the edit mode real quick and open the graphic parameter file, which I have prepared for this case. So again, we can open the graphic parameters file from this drop down menu. Uh, I click it and I open this bridge, which is uh, the bridge that we are going to add in this example. So if I click on this, uh, it already zooms in that part of the network where we need to insert a link. These are the going to be the starting point and the ending point of the bridge. These are actually nodes if we talk in terms of network objects. And we are going to connect these two nodes via a link. Again, I'm going to be selecting the insert mode and I'm going to be selecting links from here because we are going to add a link and I'm going to connect these two nodes. I can also create intermediate points. Like for example, I want the bridge to go like this and this. When I connect on the last node, it automatically appears this window which shows the create link. Uh, there's a number which is the uh, by default number, which is the next available link number in the network. Uh, there is a from node to node, which is obviously already decided when we created the link. We can also specify the type. There are already some predefined types in this network. We will be choosing type number 36 for this example. Uh, then we can also choose whether we want to close the opposite direction or whether we want it to be a two-way bridge. So in this example, I don't want to close the opposite direction, so I will just click on OK. Uh, and it, this dialog box will appear. This dialog box basically asks me if it's OK for me to delete the assignment results that we already assigned to the network. This is important to understand why this has appeared, because obviously when we are creating a new link in the network, the assignment is going to change. So I will click Confirm, yes, and my link is now ready. After we have created the link or whatever network object we want to add inside the network, it is always advised to go back into the edit mode here. Now I'm in the edit mode, I'm in the links section, and if I double click on the newly created link, I will see this new dialog box that has appeared. In this dialog box, I can check the uh, attributes that have been set for this link. If you remember, while we were creating the link, we selected the type 36, so that is visible here. The, it is, this link is open for these four transport systems. We can also change it here, but I will keep it as it is for now. We can also select uh, or we can also change an, uh, any other attribute that we want from this window. We can also do it, for example, I want one direction to have two lanes and with the capacity of 2000 and the other direction to have one lane. That is also possible. And please note uh, that since I have changed these attributes, these uh, boxes are now highlighted because these attributes are not the same in both the directions but let's uh, go with it for now. I will click on OK. And this is the link that we have created. Uh, with this new link and this new change, we want to see how the assignment has changed now. So I will run all of these three procedure parameters again. And after I have run them, I cannot see anything for now because I need to load my assignment graphic parameter. 
After I have loaded the assignment graphic parameter, if I zoom into the recently created link, I can see now it is being assigned some uh, uh, carp volume, which means that some of the volume that was assigned to this part of the network is now shifted here because there is an other option available for people to move from this side of the city to this side of the city. You can also play around with it and see how it will uh, play around with the attributes and see how it will uh, impact the assignment results. So for example, I can open the attribute dialog box for this link again. And let's see, I want to transfer these changes to the opposite direction as well. Because if you note at this moment, in one direction, the total car volume is approximately 1600. And in the other direction, it's approximately 1200. So let's change the uh, transfer the changes to, to both of these uh, direction. And we can also maybe increase the number of lanes to see how it will impact the assignment. Let's do that. If I change the attributes, I will click back on OK. And I will run the assignment again. See, now it has increased the volume in this direction a little bit more because uh, at the end, I only changed the attributes for this direction. So this is something that can also be uh, studied. And this is very interactive and makes it very easy to see the impact of a new link or any new object in our network if we can just uh, do the assignment again and see how much basically the traffic is shifting from one part of the city to another part of the city. OK, so this is all for this video. And in the next one, we will see where the demand is stored and how we can play with that. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.